roto i te whakapapa o te aute, te hononga atu ki o tātou tīpuna, ki ngā mātanga whakatere waka, ki ngā tohunga kō kōrangi, ki ngā ringa toi, ki ngā tohunga pūtaia o ano hoki. Ko ia te hononga ki te moana nui a kiwa, me te mana motuhake o ngā iwi mautere. He uri a hau no te hoki anga whakapau karakia, ko ngā puhi ko te raroa o ku iwi, ko ngā i tūpoto te hapū, ko ngā huia te wahine rangatira, ko Niko a hau. I practice the art and ritual of Aote. Ka hanga au i te tapa, ka tahi, ka whakamahi i te kōkō wai, hei tā i ngā mahere whetū. Nā ngā tīpuna, te rākau au te, i mau mai i te moana nui ākiwa, i Hawaiki rā nō. I'm just one of many bark cloth makers all over the world. There's bark cloth makers in Indonesia and in Taiwan and Hawaii and Samoa and, and Tonga. So it has, um, yeah, it has whakapapa all over Te Moana Nui Akiwa and I think we're all connected with the ocean. Te Moana Nui Akiwa is one third of the Earth's surface area and it is the largest base in, in the world and we are all connected by the ocean. There's an important to our kanataina relationship between us and our island brothers and sisters or cousins. You know, we're much better off being united than we are being divided. And the only reason we're divided is because of colonisation and these invisible borders of Melanesia, Polynesia, Micronesia that uh, they created. But they don't exist. They're not real. They're not tangible. What is tangible is the, the similarities in our language and the similarities in our culture and in our bodies and in our practices. That's, that's tangible, that's real, and that's, that's what connects us. And so we need to forget about the colonial stories that we've been told about how we're divided and we're not divided. No te tāmi tanga o tātou tīpuna, Ko te whainga a te pākeha, he tango i o tātou mā tauranga, o tātou whakapono me o tātou tikanga. I tata ngaro atu ai te katoa, ki a au, he mahi whakatumatuma te hanga au te. In te taitoke rau, missionaries either burned, hid or buried the carvings of our whareinui. To this day, we only have three carved whareinui up north. It was calculated and cunning. It was a way to erase our people's spirituality, visual language and the four walls that contain our histories and all that we hold sacred. I still feel that mamai today. I think it's important to realise when it comes to non-Māori learning about our tikanga and our mahi toi, it's really important to realise that we are recovering from cultural annihilation. You know, colonisation was an attempt to uh, annihilate us, our language and our cultural practices. Ka ti tiro au ki ngā mahi a ngā tīpuna, ki ngā tukutuku, ki te tāniko, ki te whakairo, ki te whakapapa o enei mahi, ka ki te au, I o tātou whenua, me o tātou moana, a rā ko tō tātou tirohanga Māori ki te ao whānui. I mōhi o pū o tātou tīpuna ki tēnei whenua, a rā he hononga wairua. I e nei rā he tino taonga tērā mā tauranga. Me maumahara tātou ki te whakapapa ki a papatua nuku e tūhono nei a tātou. Ki a whanake tonu, mā ngā tikanga taketake o te kaitiakitanga tātou e arahi. Me noho ko te taiao hei pūtake mō tō tātou oranga hei tuāpapa 
mo nga fakarite nga katoa. Art isn't just about the things we hang on our walls, it's how we move through the world and what we create, whether it ends up as landfill or returns to the earth to regenerate it. To appreciate Māori art merely for its appearance is a superficial exercise. To understand the Māori concepts entrenched in the artwork and this land is to aspire to a higher level of thinking that we should all be striving for. I think this prep work um, is really important for when it comes to beading to get it really dry, as, as dry as possible. And that's why it's nice to work on a small piece at first. Kei te pīrangi au, ki te whakamana i ngā ringatoe Māori, ki te pupuri tonu, ki ngā mahi tuku iho, a ngā tīpuna. He whakamana i ngā whakapono ōmua, i ngā tikanga me ngā whakapapa. Ka whaihua tātou katoa, i ngā kōrero tuku iho, I ngā mā tauranga o mua pērā i te maramataka. Mā te mātaki i ngā āhuatanga o te taiao, te marama, ngā whetū, ngā ngaru, ngā tipu, kei reira ngā whakaakuranga. He mahi whakahirahira te tuku iho me te whakaako i ngā mā tauranga, nā te mea ko te rā te ia o te ao Māori. The plant will reveal itself to you when you're ready for it, or that teaching will reveal itself to you when you're ready to receive it. And the other thing is that your teachers will come when you're ready as well. So when you're ready to take the next step in your learning journey, the teacher, whether it's a plant, whether it's a child, whether it's a pohunga, They will, they will reveal themselves. Kite tohi a nuku, ka tohi au, kite tohi a rangi e tipu i hoko, ngā pū, ngā weu, ngā more, ngā pūkenga, ngā wānanga, ngā tauira. Tēnei te kimi noa, te rapu noa, te toke toke, te ahuru, no ngā rangi tū hā hā, puka e o kia rite. Uhi wero, haramai te mauri, haumi e, hui e, kāe ki e. Ki au, ko te tū hononga, te ngako, a rā ko te pūtake o ngā whanonga tūkino, ko te whakaaro koretanga, ki ngā tātai i waenganui i te tangata me te whenua. Engari, he rā ki tua, e pūrangi ahu ana mātau i ngā mātauranga tukuiho, ko mātau, te hunga manawaroa. He āhei ngā nui kei mua i a tātou i tēnei wā. E ngunguru ana te ngao, he au hou kā hura. <tries>